roll. I'm gonna get the pre-roll of my french fries. We gon' eat. <laughs> Is it hot, Jeffy? Well, I hate that. Yo, we're after here, right? Here. You ready for 10 leaf? Wow! <laughs> 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 I've been here for two goddamn days. Hey, this is supposed to be the intro. <laughs> Till it's gonna be amazing, <laughs> can't wait. <laughs> I can't wait to eat this Japanese restaurant, you guys will see it. <laughs> <laughs> Now, I just got back from a really fun trip to Chicago. Now, the reason why I was going to Chicago was to go to the Tinley Reptile Expo. Now, this Reptile Expo was gonna be the largest Reptile Expo that I've ever gone to, as well as I believe this might even be the biggest Reptile Expo um, in terms of amount of animals, the amount of traffic of people that come in, in the whole entire world. So. I was super excited to head over and to experience that. Now, the one only difference thing is instead of flying to Chicago, we actually drove to Chicago. You see, I am from Toronto, Ontario, and it isn't a long, long drive. I mean, it is about eight hours to get there, but we were hoping on the way back to actually go to the Reptarium and visit Brian Barczyk. Now the drive to Chicago was pretty fun, you know, just hanging out with the boys and just doing our thing and pretty much just listening to good music and having good conversations. But once we got to Chicago, we met up with our friend Pat from Dragon Soul Reptiles. You might know him from the infamous dancing and you know you know his high jump <laughs> that he's done in previous vlogs but this was his hometown he's from Chicago he kind of just chilled with us showed us around Chicago we got to see the scenery as well got to see the nice view of the city and we went to go have some good food as well within the city which which honestly he didn't have to do it but you know we got to experience a little bit of Chicago so I'm super thankful for that opportunity that we got to just hang out with friends before the show but that was a little bit of a taste of what Chicago was gonna be like because the next few nights were crazy and when I mean they were crazy they were just Fun. There was the auction, there was the fight that Antoine hosted, there was the Reptile Expo, the after parties, which is just people hanging around at the bar, drinking and hanging out. It wasn't really that crazy, but there was that, which was fun because we got to talk to people that we haven't talked to in so long. The rest of the time there was fun, but with that being said, let me just show you guys what Tinley had. See, there was so many different types of reptiles. It was kind of hard to pick and choose which one was my favorite. On the way back, we were kind of talking about it and trying to pinpoint who do you think had the best, you know, reptile or what was your favorite reptile. And honestly, I could not even pick one. I think I picked like three or four that I could remember. Um, one that just still sticks in my head 
um, is that day gecko. That day gecko was like super blue as well as the price tag on that is, is crazy. But just the overall experience of going to Tinley and, and just seeing what it had um, and just being around good groups of people was awesome and we got to see friends that we never get to really see um, because they live either far away or you know we only see them online and we never even met in person so it was a lot of that it was a lot of hellos and then of course when we had to leave it was a lot of goodbyes but we'll definitely I'll definitely be coming to more shows in the future you know I have a plan to go to Europe I have a plan maybe going more to the state shows as well as even some of the Canadian shows because we got to represent Canada too we can't forget about the Canadian shows as well so I'm definitely gonna be traveling a little bit more in the future and speaking of which I really want to take this time to thank Brian Barczyk because on the way back from Tinley we wanted to go to the Reptarium. Now the Reptarium, um, I've never gone to it, has always been something on my bucket list to go um, and I always wanted to make the trip because we're not too far, it's like a four hour trip to go down there but you know work gets busy, I, I just never had made the time to go and KG, Austin, Jaffe and I, I know we're super thankful for Brian to allow us to come um, and check out the Reptarium because you know when we got there it was actually closing hours we got there at 7 30 and they close at 8 and KG messaged Brian and was like hey man like we're outside but you know I know you guys are having a private party and it's closed right so you know we'll, we'll be back next time and Brian you know was already home um, so coming back was just not a good time, especially so late, right? So it was completely understandable, but he called in and he allowed us to go in. And in a way, I'm not gonna lie, like I was a little bit disappointed that um, I didn't get to go, you know, earlier. But the fact that he allowed us to go in was like, it meant the world. Like it honestly, like I felt like a kid going back there again. That is gonna be it for today's video. I, ho I hope you had a good long weekend. You know, this long weekend was Thanksgiving and um, I'm just so glad that I got to experience it with friends um, in Chicago. And if you did go to the Reptile Expo, let me know in the comment section down below what was your favorite reptile that you saw, as well as if you didn't go to Tinley and you plan on going, definitely go. But let me know also in the comment section down below what Reptile Expo you would like to see me go to next. But with that being said, that is it for today's video. I'm Lord Lion. Keep the blood pumping, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Here we go. Peace. You gotta hit that notification, hit that notification, hit that notification button, baby. You gotta hit that notification, hit that notification, hit that notification button, baby. You gotta hit